Greetings to all of you in Circleville. This is Robert Duvall and my wife Sheila. And uh, we'll, those of you who know us probably don't recognize us anyway. And those who don't know us, uh, we lived in Circleville many years ago, 1963 through 1967, and at Warren Stemento and working to get the congregation started. and and. Uh, while we were there, we built what was called the, the church building then. It later became the parsonage. And then after we left and came to Alaska, the rest of the building was built. We've been, or the new building was built. We've been in Alaska 45 years now. Uh, we had our 50th wedding anniversary last week. And I graduated from Cincinnati Bible College and Seminary. Uh, 50 years ago this year too, so 50's ringing too for a lot of reasons. Uh, we don't have much rehearsed except we just want to say welcome to you. I'll talk for a minute and then if Sheila has some things she wants to say, uh, she'll go ahead and say those. But when David Kassler contacted us about the 50th wedding an or w w anniversary of the church, um, and he also sent an email, and I think he requested that we could be there if possible, but it wasn't possible, so we're going to try to communicate in this fashion. When I got home that evening after Sheila had talked with David on the phone, I sat down, and, and in less than five minutes, I just started writing the names of the people that are remembered from Circleville. You folks had a big impact on our life, and I, I can't thank you enough for that. And Pickaway County is still home to us. But I just wanted to read the names. I won't read all the names. I'll just go by family, and I wrote them down, so I'll be reading them. But this took only about five minutes to do. And, and I'll have first names sometimes, and with the last names sometimes, just the last names only. But Bobby and who's called then Bob and Norma Miller and their daughters uh, Donna Nelva and their sons uh, Ferris and Dee Krieger and their family uh, Clyde, uh, Clyde and Beulah McGlone and their family and uh, and then Evelina was married and her husband uh, also uh, Bill and Denise Gary uh, there were two Clifton families who were relatives of the McGlones there were two Taylor families, and sometimes three, the Yonkins family would come. Uh, Elsa and Bertha Anderson, Marge Bergen and her family, uh, Dorothy Thomas and her family, Sarah Cooper, uh, Hattie and Mary Pickens, uh, Tommy and Karina Thompson and their young family, uh, Daisy Carlskin, Dwayne Wiggins and his wife, Richard Jones and his family, and the Cordell family. Now, I don't, there are others that I probably missed, but it just took that long to write those names down. And, and uh, if, if you were there and we missed you, it's, it's, uh, I'm sorry for that, but I did want you to know that it didn't take long after 45 years of being away to remember all of you. And we're hoping the congregation is going well there. The congregation here that we came to establish now has... 250 people, maybe most Sundays, sometimes uh, special occasions we'll have 300, but 250 people is what we have for the most time, and we've been blessed to be back in Circleville a couple times over the years to speak, and also David Kassler brought his father, Don Kassler, to Anchorage in David's small plane. I'm not sure he has it anymore, but uh, and it was good to see Don and David in Alaska. And we'd invite all of you, if you can, to come to Alaska. We won't be able to come to Circleville at this time, but we might be able to come to Ohio later on in November, but we're not sure about that yet. So have a good day. And for all of you, uh, thank you for your love and your prayers. Krieger's still and uh, communicate, I believe, with Christmas cards, and we communicate with them, but it's just, it's just good to... It's just good to, to see to it that uh, the Lord's work keeps going on. And as I said, in this list of names I read, and I may have missed some, they totaled up to 75 people when you include all the children. So 
It certainly is uh, good to be a part of your your anniversary day. Sheila, anything you well, deserve to say? It's really nice because I usually don't get a chance to speak since Robert's the speaker for the family, but I can say that we have absolutely beautiful memories from Circleville and um, the beginning of our children in Circleville. We brought Tim with us to Alaska. He's our oldest son. And then Tom came along and we have John and Elizabeth. So we have four children at this time and we have 14 grandchildren. So we're very blessed. Three of our children live in Alaska currently and one of our sons lives in Florida. We just have great memories of Circleville. When David called me, I just immediately went back to those wonderful days and the time we spent in your homes and with your children, with your family. And I can remember Rodney Kassler coming to our apartment and I think it was a Christmas program or something, but uh, Rodney and I worked on rehearsing a song and I have tried and tried to find the song that he sang that Christmas. And uh, it, was, it was just really neat to, to know these young men as little children and now to know that they're serving God. And so it's a great blessing to our hearts. And we just want to let you know how much love we have for Circleville and for the influence in our family and in our life. We ask God to bless you today as you honor him in this wonderful milestone. And we're so thankful to be a part of it. We love you. Well, thank you. And have a good day uh, uh, in remembering your anniversary. And we'll remember it with you. And if we get a chance and we're in Ohio, we'll stop in Circleville. Take care, and hopefully we'll see you again on the earth. But if we don't, we'll meet together in heaven. God bless you.